Okay, so we're going to start working on the first problem in the book, uh, John R. Taylor's classic, Classical Mechanics. Uh, so like I said in the previous video when I explained the series, I've seen a lot of people work out like a couple problems, but I haven't seen somebody actually upload solutions to this, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so the first section is all about more or less vectors. The first one is just talking about pretty basic properties. Given two vectors, B and C, find, I'll use a different color, find all this good stuff. Okay, now we've talked a lot about this stuff, but uh, I think it, it'll be good just to work through these problems. Okay, so let's do part A. Which just says, find vector B plus C. Well, <clears throat> that's going to be equal to vector B is just x hat, y hat. Plus vector C is x hat, z hat. So if we were to add those up, that's just 2 x hat plus y hat plus z hat. It's just as easy as combining like terms. So there you go. Probably could have done that, but I don't know where else we should start other than the beginning. Okay, b says 5 times vector b plus 2 times vector c is equal to what? Okay. Well, 5 times vector b is, again, we're just replacing vector b with x hat plus y hat, plus 2 times x hat plus z hat. We're replacing this with vector c. And the big thing to know here to work through this is just knowing that you can distribute these guys. So that's 5 x hat plus 5 y hat from the first bit, plus 2 x hat plus 2 z hat. <clears throat> and then just as before, we can combine like terms. So that's 7 x hat plus 5 y hat plus 2 z hat. And we cover all these properties uh, when I when I went over kind of the note section of classical mechanics. So if you're not sure how I'm doing any of these, uh, I would advise you just to look at the classical mechanics playlist. Okay, so that was the first two parts. Part B, or I'm sorry, we're on C. Part C asks us to find vector B dotted with vector C. Which, again, we can think of as just being x hat plus y hat dotted with x hat plus z hat. <clears throat> okay? So, here's how we're going to do this. And I think this will be the way that makes the most sense. Just to show you guys uh, where this is coming from. Let's foil. Just like this. What does that give us? X hat dotted with X hat. So that is that that is one part. Plus X hat dotted with Z hat. Plus Y hat dotted with X hat. Plus Y hat dotted with Z hat. Okay. Now, when we dot these, what do we get? Well, x dotted with x, that's just 1. So we get 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, or just 1. Another way you could think of this is... 
if this way where we 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 mocked foiled is confusing, let's start over here. X hat plus Y hat dotted with dotted with what do we have? X hat plus Z hat. We could think of this as being X hat plus Y hat plus zero Z hat dotted with X hat plus zero Y hat plus Z hat. And then we can just multiply the components together and you see you'll get X hat dotted with X hat plus, well, Y hat dotted with Y hat is uh, a zero Y hat, that, that'll give us zero. And a zero Z hat dotted with Z hat, that's gonna be zero because there's a zero there. So it's just X hat dotted with, dotted with X hat, which is just one. Okay. So if the mock foil doesn't make sense, then you could also think of it alternatively uh, this way. Now let's move on to part D. Part D says that B cross C is equal to what? Well, if you don't remember, B cross C is the determinant is the determinant of x hat, y hat, z hat, b sub x, b sub y, b sub z, c sub x, c sub y, c sub z. That is the def one of our definitions of the determinant. We've talked about a few other ways, but this is the way that we're going to think of it. Well, that's equal to the determinant of our unit vector here, unit vectors. Okay, so what do we have? Well, B hat was X hat plus Y hat plus Z hat. So that's just gonna be one, one, zero. There's no Z component. And C was, we can even go back up here. B has an X and a Y component and C has a X and Z component. So we could say that one is one, zero, one. Okay. And then if you don't remember how to do a determinant, um, I, I've done it before in videos, but so I'm gonna do it quickly here. If you're not familiar with how to solve a determinant, um, I would recommend checking out previous videos. Uh, if you watch the, the Classical Mechanics lecture series, I'm pretty sure I go over determinants. Uh, but I'm going to assume you know how to do it. So this will be 1 times 1 minus 0, which will be our x hat, minus 1 times 1 minus 0, which is our y hat, plus... 0 times negative 1 uh, times negative 1 times, I'm sorry, 0 minus negative 1 times 1, which will be our z hat. So if we do that, we'll get 1 x hat minus 1 y hat minus z hat. Or you don't have to have the ones there, obviously. And this is our vector. This is the result of doing the cross product of vector B and vector C. So the cross product of vector of, of uh, B cross C is this determinant. And then assuming you know how to solve it, it spits out this vector this vector, which is perpendicular to B and C, vector B and vector C. So the dot product will give a scalar, a number. The cross product spits out a vector, and that vector is going to be perpendicular to B and C. And we could get the direction by the right-hand rule. But we just want to know how to compute it for this problem. So the first problem is pretty easy. The first few problems are pretty easy. Um, 
some of them are a little tricky with vectors, but I, like I said, I don't know where else to start other than the beginning. So here we go. The first problem of many more to come.